bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing, bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. What? Wait a minute. And welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy of Bush Baby Amy and today I'll be showing you how I achieved this twisted crown look. If it is your first time on my channel please be sure to subscribe and comment below letting me know what more you would like to see on my channel. Also if you enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's head on over to the video. As you can see my hair was a hot mess so I went through with the shampoo just to cleanse my scalp and then I applied the my natural hair hydration mask and this was my first time using it and I thought it did an absolutely amazing job once I rinsed that out to soaking with hair I then applied the leave-in conditioner and then as I was applying the leave-in conditioner I detangled each section and kept it in those sections to seal it up, I then went in with the strengthening oil, which I started at the ends of my hair and then worked towards the roots of my hair with a bit of focus on my hairline as well, just to prevent any unnecessary breakage or damage there. So yeah, did that um, throughout my hair. To start off the style, I parted my hair. I wanted a bit of an asymmetrical look. I prefer a side part to a center part. So as you can see, I started on the left hand side and then uh, making sure to keep my hair as detangled as possible. So continuously detangling it because when you're twisting your hair, it's easiest when it is detangled. And then just a quick tip on how I achieve my straight lines. Or my straight parts when I part my hair I start off where I ended before so I use the end of my part as the start of the next uh, section of the line if that makes sense and then you can see I tied up my hair into two sections and now using the edge gel, again this was my first time using it, so both the edge gel and the hydration mask are two new, oh well and the leave-in conditioner are new products in the My Natural Hair range. So as you can see here, I'm just applying a little bit of edge gel along the entire, uh, I don't know, hairline or parting just to ensure that my hair is kept flat because I do intend on keeping this hair style in for a few days since it is coming up to winter it's a nice protective style and it's low manipulation so as you can see I'm starting now with my flat twist and I take the first section and hold it quite like hold it in tension with my right hand and then with my left hand I part the next section as you can see and then I twist it and then I switch hands so again you'll see I continuously keep the tension of the twist using my right hand and I always part using my left hand it's just an easy method that I've figured out and it helps keep my t my flat twist neat you know in case I come across any tangles that I need to just quickly get rid of whilst sectioning my hair so again I section with my left hand at the bottom and then hold so okay so section twist and then hold in tension with my right hand so I do that till the end And then when I've reached the nape, basically where there's no more hair left to feed into the flat twist, I then just two strand twist the rest of that hair. As you can see, what I actually do is I bring it across the back of my head because that's how I'm going to pin it. So I just ensure that it actually doesn't lose any of its definition, like the twisted definition and any extra bulging and stuff when I try and bring it across to actually pin it up. So then with the second section, I do exactly the same. It 
obviously dried out a little bit so I just moisturized it a little with some water and then again with the edge gel along the entire hairline just to smooth it down and make sure it holds throughout the week and I mean you can see immediately how much smoother it gets I mean I'm not even trying to make it too sleek and it's it's pretty sleek again here I try and use the same theory where I use one hand to hold the flat twist in tension and the other hand to actually part the sections and feed in you can touch me in the noon of a raw and the truck behind me got on and then at the end of this one I actually needed to smooth it out a bit using a comb or I guess you could use a brush as well if you want but just to make sure everything is smooth and then bring it around the back again and finish off the two strand twist cool so you'll see that there's a lot of extra product in my hair and that's okay because when it dries you don't see the whites anymore i think it's just because i break that section again that it's it's showing so prominently now as you can see i bring across the two strand yeah the two strand twists and then using bobby pins i just secure them in place I also want to mention that I do actually like the ends of the two strand twists I tuck inside so that they are protected so that they don't dry out because your ends are the most vulnerable part of your hair always well that and your hairline but you know what I mean bouncing around bouncing around bouncing bouncing around bouncing around bouncing bouncing around bouncing around bouncing bouncing around bouncing around and now to something that I don't always do, but I thought I would just show you guys how I lay my edges. So I use a toothbrush. It's a diamond head toothbrush, so it's quite small at the front. Also another tip is if you're going to use a toothbrush, try and use a medium to hard bristle toothbrush as opposed to a soft one, just because it helps actually brushing out your edges or laying your edges. So I use the front of the toothbrush to kind of separate the strands or lay the strands as I want them to. So they're not all clumped up and so they actually spread out a little. And then I use my finger as well to hold it in place as I am brushing it or as I am laying it into the shape that I want it to. I find it very useful to use my fingers as well when I'm laying my edges because it, it secures it quite nicely. So as I brush it with the toothbrush, I then kind of secure it flat using my finger, as you can see here. So brush, press down, and, and that kind of holds it in place until I actually put my scarf on and set them. And just a comment on the edge gel by My Natural Hair. I found it's got a bit of a harder consistency, so not as hard as the Design Essentials one, but the consistency for me was really nice. The Cantu one I think is a bit too flowy, so this was quite a nice balance between the two and so it made it easy to apply. So no hard crunchiness and it actually kept my edges laid for the entire day. And they also, it also didn't dry out my edges, which was nice. Guys, I really need to work on my other side angle <laughs> shooting. Because even when I was doing the twisting, the footage actually didn't show much. And I feel like the same now with this edge. So I will have to work on that. So when I shoot the right side, it's fine. But when I shoot the left, I have a bit of a problem making sure I'm in the frame. So yeah, now I am going to apply my scarf, which I just put on to set my edges and then head on off to finish off 
getting ready for the day. video if you enjoy the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button and obviously turn on notifications so that you do not miss any more of my uploads thanks for watching guys peace out deuces mad love